Math 1010, Module 5, Rational Equations and Expressions, Lesson 8. Our first module, sorry, our first objective of this module is to solve a given formula for a specified variable. Example 1, solve the following formula for capital B. So there's our little capital B. We want to solve for that. Well, first thing, we have a fraction. Let me multiply by 2. Now what that 2 does is it reduces with this 2. There's no more 2 left to distribute. It's gone because these are all factors and so you can choose where that 2 goes but you don't distribute it. Now if you chose to distribute it in, instead of cancel the 2, then you'd have 2's inside and then divide by 2 and you wouldn't have really done any good. So definitely want to use this 2 to get rid of that fraction. We now have 2a equals h times big B plus little b. Let's distribute. 2a equals h big B plus h little b. Now we're trying to solve for big B. There it is. Let's move this h little b to the other side because it doesn't, oops, h little b doesn't have what we want. So we now have 2a minus h little b equals h big B. Now we divide by the h, the whole thing on the other side by the h, so we can be left with big B equals 2a capital A minus h little b over little h. So in general, your steps, good sets of steps for equations. Step 1, clear fractions. Step 2, distribute through parentheses. And then you can solve for what you need. Let's see these steps in example 2. Solve for r. Okay, so we have fractions. So let's multiply by the common denominator of the 1 plus rt. So we have 1 plus rt times capital P equals, and on this side, I'll just reduce and it is a. Clear fractions. Distribute through parentheses. That'll be p plus p little r little t equals a. Try to solve for r. There it is. Let's move this p to the other side because it doesn't have what we're after. Let's divide by the stuff we don't want out of that term. Reduce, 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 reduce. And we have oops, r equals a minus p, all capitals, over big capital P and lowercase t. So again, clear fractions, distribute through parentheses, and then find what you need. In this case, the little r. One more example of these. Example 3. Solve the following for b. All right. We need to clear fractions. I'm going to give myself a little more room to work on this one. By multiplying by the LCD of A, B, C. So allow us to reduce all the fraction action. Leaving us with B, C plus A, C equals A, B. Okay, now a slightly different situation here. We're trying to solve for B. And there's a B here. Wow, that was different. Didn't do what, at all what I wanted to do. Okay, fine. No highlight for me. There. And this B there. So let's just move this B term to the right. Now the purpose of this is just to get all of the ones that we're after on one side. The nice thing about getting them all on one side is you can then factor them out what you're after. And the critical step happens where we had two B's. We're trying to solve for B. We had two b's, so we factor, and now there's one b. Now there's something we can solve for. Let's divide by that ac factor. a minus c, that whole factor reduces. And we have little b equals ac divided by a minus c. And this problem illustrates that after you clear fractions and distribute any parentheses, if you have more than one instance of what you're trying to solve for, get them on the same side and factor them out so there's just one instance and you can solve for it. All right, next objective. 
Find variation constant and an equation of variation for direct, inverse, and joint variation problems. So what we have is example one. Y varies directly as X. If Y equals 24 when X equals 8, find Y when X equals 4. All right, so our first basic step is to set up the appropriate varies formula. In this case, it's Y equals K times X. Okay, now our second procedure is to use the given pair of information in our new formula so that I can then solve for k. It's going to be very important moving into step three. Our third overall thing is find y. Well we know y equals k but we know what k is x but x equals four. And that answers our question. So we start with the appropriate formula for the varies, in this case directly, so times. Then we plug in a set of information to solve for k. And then we use that k and the piece that they gave us to find the missing piece. For example, 2 is very similar. But this time, our first set, y varies inversely as x. y equals k over x. Now what you want to know is k is always on top on these. Always, always, always. Inversely, the x is on bottom. Directly, the x is on top. Our second is to use the set of information. So that would be y. Sorry, we know what y is. Specifically, 20 equals k over x, which is 6. And solve for k. 20 times 6, 120. The third basic thing is to use our formula, y equals, we know what k is, 120, and they gave us x of 24. Okay, so we can now just simplify this. 120 divided by 24 works out really nicely as 5. That completes this varies inversely. So do these varies problems in three steps. Okay, this completes the review. Good luck on your module test.